Alright, all you horror movie lovers out there, welcome back to Music Village. And before we go into the next part of the show, folks, I am sorry that we did not include Dracula, Blackula, and I do believe along with them that giant oversized mummy that chased around Scooby-Doo and Abbott and Costello. So, yeah, those are a couple of my favorite ones, too. I'll add them in with Frankenstein, not to disrespect the Count. Or Nosferatu, yeah, him too. Or the creature from the Black Lagoon. Yeah, there's a lot, and I'm just now remembering them. <laughs> but regardless of all that, folks, it's now time for us to go into another edition of the Horror Movie of the Week. And the Horror Movie of the Week that we have for this week, because I've recently seen the original version of this said film, is The Crazy. And just like the remake version of the film, it all bases around a small town that would slowly but surely turn into a monsters or do on Maple Street sort of situation where the whole town would revolt against each other thanks to some form of virus that was in not only the air, but the water and everything else that they made contact with. Which, in my opinion, is the scariest thing you could possibly experience where just random people just trying to take you out from all different corners of your eyes. And yeah, I almost forgot to mention the original version of The Crazies was made by George A. Romero himself. And this was somewhere around the time of his Night of the Living Dead series. Not bad, George A. Romero. Not bad. And oh, another reason why I like the movie so much, the original version, is all of the cool gas masks they had in it. I know it's a weird thing to say, but yeah, I thought they looked cool. And not to mention the way that people would run and dart at people on the street to try to take them out with knives and other sort of weapons sort of reminded me of the anarchy cheat that you would enter in for Grand Theft Auto. Well, for at least Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, which had to have been the worst one of them all. Which, I gotta do a video game story for that in the near future, but to stay on subject, folks, for you horror movie fans out there, you can't go wrong with the 2010 version of The Crazies, or even the original 1973 classic version of The Crazies, which I do have on VHS. I was able to get it, which is cool. So for any of you out there looking for a scary treat for a small rural town getting torn to pieces by government experiments, I suggest you go ahead, go on your local Redbox, Netflix, or whatever sort of movie rental service, or on VHS or DVD if you can find it, grab a bucket of popcorn, grab your friends along with you, and prepare to be scared. And with that said, folks, I think it's time for us to head back into the music, and when we return, we'll be back with another new DJ Smokey's Tales from the Disc right after this. So don't go anywhere just yet, folks, and stay tuned. 